and everything is installed all the images values and even on all the container everything you can see here so just before i just execute the command right this command run that back automatically it's just going to be start and until three minutes you have to wait after three minutes only you can use your container all your docker images because it's going to be communicate together and it will be sharing some data between one container to another container network so everything will be synced together it will take new three minutes so if you want to stop this just give stop so all the packages whatever the container in the back end running right everything is going to be shut down. So you can see all this information here as well. So name node, data node, everything you can see here. Okay, so now no container is running as of now. You can see this one, one time. So three, two, one second, then completely it will be done. Same like start. It's internally doing all the calculations. Uh, based on that, it's going to be run in a step-by-step uh, -step manner. First, which one we have to run it? Everything will be calculated, and then it's just going to be stuck. And you want to specifically run for huddle, then you can mention the command as well. Only I want to run the huddle command, then start huddle. That's it. So this this only is going to be execute all the huddle related services. Or you want to run, you have enough memory, enough RAM in your system, you have up to 30 GP or uh, 16 GB, you have a RAM and you can execute efficiently, then you can provide all command. Start, that's it. So everything is going to be boot up and start and running here. So I have flow, the other as well as the spark and the multiple data nodes, everything will be started. Yarn, some postgres, hive, airflow, master, spark, everything will be running in the back. So this many containers, you can run it. But you need enough memory. Otherwise, you can run the particular services. If suppose you are going to work with only hive, you can provide the hive command and you can execute it. Something like you want to run one, you want to practice only with Hadoop platform, just provide start Hadoop command. Then automatically the Hadoop service, everything will be kicked up, then you can use it. Something like that correlations is available. Okay, hope you are understand, right? Any questions? Dinesh, uh, uh, Visual Studio, you are uh, connecting to Hadoop. Uh, how container? Uh, how, no, no, it's not a Visual Studio file. My practice, my country is not practicing Visual Studio in this IDE. You can run from command prompt also from the local. This is the file size just giving you, right? Just go to the path and run it. That's it. I am familiar with PyCharm and Visual Studio both. So just go to here. Open a PowerShell, run your command. That's it. Run that back, start. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So, I mean, uh, everything will be happening inside virtual machine or uh, also? Which one? Virtual machine. I mean, uh, the character to which you're showing. Uh, Once this command is executed, right, it's going to be started, right, waiting for cluster running. It's back end, it's going to be put up. Everything based on the images, same images only, we just using all other functionality. So everything is going to be synced with the same images, but different, different port, as well as some connectivity, it's just going to be communicate and execute. That's it. Before we have different, different separate images, we just use it. But right now, we just planning to make everything as a single image right now. And uh, we plan in the future for the Kubernetes, whatever we will create and we will club it right as single images. Everything we will be going to dismantle and create a separate services and make some combinations. That's, I'm sure the future they are going to do that via Kubernetes practice, but not right now. Okay. We have some idea, but we will not be implemented it. 
So, sorry, Dinesh. I actually, I'm little, not clear actually. Uh, okay, uh, we are going to install uh, virtual machine as well as Docker. Anything you can, anyone, both is not required. Okay, anyone is uh, yeah, yeah, fine. That is okay. Something. Okay, after installing, consider I will install virtual machine. So, how will I kickstart the Hadoop uh, from PowerShell? Yeah, yeah, I will tell you. This is the just basic thing, just download and using it right now. That's it. Le after that, I will show you how you can utilize it. Oh. The communications, everything will be going to discuss. Okay. okay, okay. Which will be good, Docker or uh, virtual machine? Uh, in terms if of you, real time? It's a standalone practice, only single node is going to be React, right? That you may be go with standalone okay. virtual machines okay so this is a completely standalone one if you want to practice with multi node then docker containers are best reality is docker container only okay okay so the cluster is boot up right after three minutes everything's over then just go age rated you can see that yawn information system so right now i just executed with the final cluster and the 20 GB RAM has been reserved and the 10 cores has been reserved. Depends on my system, it will be communicated. And then just go here, 8888. There is the only one port number you want to establish. Okay, here all the all the your functionalities, you can do it your way. So if you want to practice with Hadoop, you have a terminal. Just click on the terminal and you can execute all your commands. Last time I just practiced try. Right? Same like it can execute all your commands here. So you want to increase the font sizes and now you can use it. Or you want to change the theme from the dark mode to light mode, everything, it's up to you. This is open free for you, all your practices. Same like we have separate Python practice. We have Python code, so just to click on it. You can type all your print statement out. Okay, so you can save it. This code you can automatically save. So launcher, hi. So hi, you can do all your practice as well. So you want to create the databases. We can do that. Okay, just like you can create as well as Spark also. We have separate PySpark kernels available. Just open the PySpark and you can put your PySpark code. And you can execute all your comments. Some sample comments are just giving you this copy from here. And run it accordingly. So everything is automatically boot with your yarn container. You can see this one. Spark has been started automatically and communicated here. If you are going to practice with any hive, that is also automatically will be communicated with your EM. So you want to reserve some configuration based memory and now we will discuss in detail while we are going to practice with Spark. At the time I will tell you. Okay, automatically the browser can just pre communicate and start all the process. Okay, somebody sharing the video, can you please stop it? Okay. Uh, yeah, so it's close to Cloudera replacement because Cloudera CDH, they will not be provided, but they will give you only standalone, right? We are trying to make everything with Altino. There's some major differences. Yeah. Any other question? 
Dinesh, first we need to install this Docker, and after that, uh, whatever the file it's available in the drive, we have to install it, right? Yeah, that's a simple step. First, you install the Docker's desktop. Okay. From the path, just go here. I will share the path also. Just go download and install. And you want to check the cores and RAM. Just on the front, you can do, select this Docker's. Otherwise, next we are going to discuss about VM. I will tell you how to use this one. Okay, just in a few minutes. So how I can check this core and RAM? Just go here, go to the top manager. Just click on performances. This performances tab, you can see the CPU right here to engineering the logical processor. So logical processor and code and RAM, everything you can click. So RAM almost have 32 GP, this is a GPU based laptop. So high seven processor and 12 cores but it's it will run more than four code that will be a fine okay just check this part that's it